most of the advanced training with your dog, it's a series of steps to get them to do the action. So you train them to do one thing, and then you train them to do another thing, and then you tie it together. In other words, he's being trained to find birds in a field. We've taught him the hunt them up command where he's, he's got it, and we're still working with them. But we also want to get him to the point where he's, he's running, and he'll stop and go into the woe position, because that's how we're going to train him from that point on. In other words, hunt him up to him right now means go find it, put it in your mouth, and bring it back. But to hunt him up, we're going to change it into go find it and stop and alert me in front of the bird. And he's alerting by stopping, going into the woe position. Do you understand? So he's, he's no longer from that point on is he going to be going and getting the object. He's just going to stop tell me that it's there and then I'll, I'll go pick it up and maybe throw him a retrieve but we don't want him picking it up from that point on now right now we're still doing hunt him up with him he can't go get it and retrieve it but we need that he can do whoa real good so that when he is out in the field and we start doing more advanced training and tying it together we walk him into the scent cone of the bird we know where it is, by the way. I'll put a flag up so that I know exactly where the bird is. So that when I see him turn his head and he starts going for it, I'll say, whoa, and I'll stop. And by repetition, we'll just start doing that. He'll start, just start going into the woe position right when he goes into the scent cone. I hope this makes sense. A lot of people think it's a little bit more complicated than it is when you're dealing with a dog. And it's not that complicated. The dog, they don't think. They just respond. So right now we're doing an exercise where I'll run with camo. I'll throw him into the low position while I'm throwing this. This is a dummy with a pheasant wing on it. And that way he's going to get into the habit of being able to run and stop and go into the low position. Something, something like this. Here. My leg's bothering me today, so... again so that he gets real good at this. We want his heart to be elevated like he would be doing if he was running around a field looking for the bird scent. Whoa is such an important command for your bird dog. It's it's the most important command. I it's rare that, that I need to put a flank cord on the you know a check cord on the dog on its flank side. Usually I have the low command conditioned in so well it's not necessary. But you could do that if your dog, you know, isn't picking this up. But if you just go over woe and they know it implicitly, then it's not it's not a problem. Let me move the camera so you can watch this one more time. Whoa! Dog training is a lot of repetition, and it really is. It's just stringing a bunch of stuff together to come up with a finished product. At a, at a point, we won't be using this anymore. We'll be using live birds, and we'll put the live birds out in a field. Dogs love doing this. They really do. You, you don't even have to train your dog to, you know, you don't have to shoot birds to train your dog to do something like this. This is a positive thing for any dog. Anytime you train the dog to do something that's being compliant, it's a very good thing. Camel will get this, no, no doubt. He's, he's a compliant little dog. <laughs>